The underwater beast witch hunts pigeons and attacks people. Are there sea monsters? It all depends on your definition of a monster. When someone sees a sperm whale, a Komodo dragon, or a deep water anglerfish for the first time, they may find them as fascinating as any monster from fiction or myth. Even experts agree that when it comes to deciphering our planet's most inhospitable realms, there is likely to be plenty more strange life to discover. These marine monsters spark terror, superstition, movies, and searches. The level of detail with which we have mapped our planet's aquatic worlds allows for plenty of surprises. Many people, including scientists, have searched for them throughout history. However, one thing appears to be unavoidable. When it comes to enormous and unexpected species declaring themselves to science, they will almost certainly come from the depths of the ocean or even rivers. In this video, we'll talk about catfish, a river monster that hunts pigeons and even attacks humans. There are around 2,000 different species of catfish in the world today. At 20 millimeters, the tiniest is fully matured. The largest is said to grow to be more than 5 meters long. The European Wells catfish, Silurus glanis, is one of the world's largest freshwater fish. It can be found all over Europe and in Asia as well. The Duke of Bedford successfully introduced the Wells catfish into the UK over 130 years ago when he stocked 70 of them into his now famous lakes at Wabern Abbey in Bedfordshire. Wells catfish are still considered rare in Britain, despite the fact that their distribution is expanding year after year. And there are now catfish waters in practically every county in England. The Wells catfish's main distinguishing feature is its large size. This river behemoth can grow to be up to 10 feet long and weigh up to 500 pounds. This would make it Europe's second largest freshwater fish after the beluga sturgeon. However, most full-grown examples are 4 to 6 feet long and weigh 200 pounds. The Wells catfish has a long, scaleless body with a flattened tail, a broad mouth, an extraordinarily long anal fin extending over the stomach, and mottled gray or greenish-brown skin. Albino specimens have been reported as well. They feature two long barbels, or whiskers, on the top jaw and four shorter barbels on the lower jaw, which aid the fish in navigating the water and searching for food in the sand. Have you ever come across a catfish? If so, you may already be aware of how it got its name. Long, thin tendrils extend from their mouths. These appear to be whiskers. Catfish, unlike cats and dogs, do not have whiskers or hair. These unique whisker-like feelers are comprised of skin. They're known as barrels. How are catfish barbels used? Each one is outfitted with microscopic taste buds, as well as specialized olfactory sensors. These aid the fish's sense of taste and smell. Catfish prefer to reside in dark, murky waters where their vision is limited. Barbels use their touch and taste senses to assist the fish in their search for food. Their hunting abilities, though, may provide them with their most formidable advantage. Wells, like all catfishes, have highly developed senses, especially for sensing prey vibrations. They also have an outstanding ability to adapt to unfamiliar food sources. The catfish prey on migratory fish that migrate from the sea into rivers to reproduce, such as Atlantic salmon, which has historically had few predators, sea lampreys, primitive, jawless fish that are threatened in Europe, and Ali Shad, commercially valuable seafood. The catfish acquired its moniker from more than just its whiskers. When caught, they produce a noise similar to a cat purring. However, the similarities between catfish and cats may end there. Catfish can potentially grow to be considerably larger than a cat, and in extreme cases, even a child. Catfish hide behind submerged rocks and logs during the day, but at night, they seek open water to feed. Catfish are generally abundant and can be found all throughout the world, while certain varieties of catfish are restricted to specific localities. They range in size from a few inches to a few feet, depending on their age and species, and eat a variety of items such as smaller fish and water insects. Many catfish have a maximum size of less than 12 centimeter. Aside from the extremely smaller related Aristotle's catfish found in Greece, the Wells catfish, Silurus glanis, is Europe's sole native catfish species. Mythology and literature describe enormous Wells catfish, 
which have yet to be scientifically proved. The species' average size is about 1.2 to 1.6 meters, while fish larger than 2 meters are extremely rare. The largest specimens on record are more than 2.5 meters long and weigh more than 220 pounds. On May 22, 2005, the largest Ictolurus furcatus was caught in the Mississippi River and measured 124 pounds. Pilodictes olivaris, the largest flathead catfish ever caught, weighed 123 pounds and was caught in Independence, Kansas. These records, however, pale in comparison to a 293-kilogram Mekong catfish caught in northern Thailand on May 1, 2005. Since Thai officials began keeping statistics in 1981, this is the largest huge Mekong catfish caught. Because they dwell in undeveloped countries, the huge Mekong catfish are not thoroughly studied, and it is possible that they can grow even larger. However, it has been reported that European catfish seize the pigeons on land and drag them back in the water. This unusual behavior has never been observed in the species' natural region. These fish appear to have developed a hunting method never before seen in these animals. They wait in shallow water near sandbars populated by pigeons, and when a stray bird approaches, the catfish lunge at it, dragging their feathered victim back into the water with them. Anyone who has seen a crocodile bag a zebra at a watering hole or a killer whale breach onto an ice floe for a nice penguin would recognize the hunting tactic. According to Julian Kutcher Ousset of Paul Sabatier University, who heard about the behavior from fishermen on the river who were understandably horrified at the sight of the 3-4-foot-long fish leaping from the water on a shore to take a flapping, warm-blooded meal. This is the first time European catfish have been known to exhibit it. Kutcher Ousset discovered that the catfish got a meal 28% of the time they leaped onto land for food, but it's also risky. When catfish attack prey on shore, they are effectively teaching themselves and risk becoming stranded if something goes wrong. The jury is yet out on why the fish evolved this hunting tactic to supplement their typical diet of fish, and a study it is underway. Female catfish can lay up to 30,000 eggs per kilogram body weight. The male defends the nest until the brood hatches, which can take 3 to 10 days depending on water temperature. If the water level drops too quickly or too dramatically, the male has been observed splashing the eggs with its tail to keep them moist. The eggs will hatch after about 10 days, and baby catfish known as fry will be born. The father catfish will keep these offspring safe until they are about a week old. When baby catfish are born, they will fit in the palm of your hand. Their tiny size of about an inch makes them even cuter. After about a year and a half to two years, these fish will weigh about a pound. Remember that this estimate is for general baby catfish, such as channel cats or other farm-raised varieties. Smaller catfish species, such as the corridor's catfish, do not reach the same size as others. Keep the species' peculiarities in mind when determining how quickly and how large they will grow. When you think about deadly fish in open water, you often think of the ocean or large seas. However, there have been reports of freshwater fish injuries and deaths all around the world. Several allegations have been made over the years about huge catfish attacking humans, and some have even been discovered with human remains inside them. So, do catfish attack people? Humans are not attacked by catfish. Catfish, on the other hand, can be deadly to humans if not handled appropriately. This is due to their dorsal and pectoral fins, which feature sharp spines and contain a particular venom that can inflict significant injury if they accidentally puncture your flesh. Truly massive catfish stalk rivers all throughout the world. They feed on human bodies and are accused of drowning live victims. In South America, a Paraiba swallowed a fisherman and was discovered with his legs still sticking out, while gooch catfish are accused of pulling two children to their deaths. In Europe, suspicion is focused on the possibly massive Wells catfish, with a human body discovered within one individual. Would a catfish ever eat a human? Despite popular belief, stories of huge fish such as catfish, anacondas, or piranhas attacking and devouring humans are generally a myth. Catfishes may or may not eat humans, but humans do. Catfish have been collected and farmed for food throughout Africa, Asia, Europe, and North America for hundreds of years. Quality and flavor assessments differ, 
with some food critics. Hailing catfish as a wonderful meal and others dismissing it as watery and lacking in flavor. Catfish was often regarded as a delicacy in Central Europe, to be savored on feast days and holidays. Migrants from Europe and Africa brought this custom with them to the United States, and catfish is a very popular cuisine in the southern United States. The most often consumed species in the United States are channel catfish and blue catfish, both of which are abundant in the wild and increasingly popular in aquaculture. So, what are your opinions on this creepy-looking aquatic beast 